through all the scandal, through all the through all the shenanigans and corruption that we see in politics today, Bernie Sanders strikes back at the heart of the problem. Jobs. He strikes back with corporatization. Showed what an amazing video. I'm gonna play the whole video. Amazing video. In Lordstown, Ohio, he took a trip out to Lordstown, the heartland, uh, and and reported on a uh, the, the closing of a GM plant. Let's watch this video. This is why I love Bernie Sanders. At one time, this is what built the middle class during the Industrial Revolution. This area is in trouble, and it's up to us, the people, to fight back. I'm Chucky Dennison. I'm from Lake Milton, Ohio. This is my third plant I've seen close, and I do not plan to transfer again. I plan to stay here and fight back by organizing and transforming the political system from the ground up and reclaim the White House. Trump lied to Ohio. He hasn't done one thing to lift a finger. He came to this area and told people, do not sell your homes, I'm bringing the jobs back. And weeks after that is when they announced the plant closing. Let me tell you folks in Ohio and in this area, don't sell your house. A large American factory stopped production today after more than half a century. 1,600 workers at the General Motors plant in Lordstown, Ohio, are affected by this. The plant is in Trumbull County, a county that voted for President Obama and then for President Trump. It's not only devastating to the employees who work for that plant, but the families. It affects the whole entire area. Tax revenue, infrastructure, down to the schools, even the little children in school. Their best friends disappear because they're uprooted and have to move. Move. The tire factories are gone, the steel mills are gone. This was all that this area had left. If you drive down our roads now, and everyone's got potholes. He came here and lied to these people. I didn't buy it, but many people did because they were hanging on to hope. They were hoping that he would do something, but he did the opposite. Trump gave General Motors $700 million in federal contracts. I mean, this is happening all over this nation with all kinds of corporations. Not only are you hurting workers, communities, but the children and future generations. And it needs to stop now. Today I say to Donald Trump, you know, you are a really tough guy and you are prepared to shut down the federal government and deny hundreds of thousands of workers a paycheck. Well, let's see how tough you are. Tell General Motors today, no more federal contracts until they deal with Lordstown. Let's see how tough you are. Today, our message to General Motors and the other corporations is that you cannot continue to treat your employees with disdain and contempt. And if you are not a good and responsible corporate citizen, do not think that you will get federal contracts. Bernie, we need you. We do. We need you. And we have your back. And I know you got ours. If we can get you elected, man, we're going to have the resources to transform America. Now that's At one a, time, that's this a, is what whew. built the middle class. Holy during the smokes, industrial what a commercial, what a whoa. Now that hits anybody who, say, anybody who thinks that Bernie Sanders doesn't mean every word of that. I don't know, man. I don't know what planet you're living on. So uh, Bernie Sanders sent that out in an email. I'll read what he wrote. Or at least somebody wrote. <laughs> he probably wrote it. Lordstown is an example of the horrific impact on a small town and a community. When a company like General Motors gives billions of dollars in tax buybacks to make the very rich richer while closing down plants and shipping those jobs overseas. I have always felt there is something profoundly wrong with people and businesses that have so much money yet still decide that they are willing to step, step over working people, many with families and young children, in order to get more and more. And what we have decided is whether in our democracy we are going to allow a handful of business, businesses on Wall Street to close down profitable plants like the ones in Lordstown. What we have to decide is whether or not we should allow a company like General Motors, which received a $50 billion bailout from the taxpayers of this country, 
to throw thousands of productive workers out on the street. To say the least, what does that show a lot of, to say the least, that does not show a lot of love and gratitude. So what we are going to do on this campaign and when I am in the White House is tell the companies like General Motors that they are going to start be, they are going to start being good corporate citizens, that their greed is going to end. We are going to tell them that they will no longer continue to treat their workers with disdain and contempt. So that's the that's the heart of the problem. That is the the that commercial or you know campaign commercial hits at the heart of the issue, which is the the promise. People in Michigan, people in Ohio, people in in Pennsylvania, people in the Rust Belt of this country voted for Trump because he told them that he had a plan to bring jobs back, retain jobs in this country. And really, the simple fact is he lied. And that it's not, I, I don't believe that at this point, General Motors per se is the way to go, but certainly with ideas like a Green New Deal where you could begin, begin you know, industry that that can transform the power grid, for example. But the fact is that under Trump's watch, the by giving corporate tax breaks to the, to the wealthy, when, look, a tax break, here's a, here's a way to explain it. People probably, you've probably never heard it explained like this, but when corporations pay tax, right, to avoid paying that tax, they do what's called in state, they re, they re um, invest that money. So, so if, for example, if you make $100, right, and your tax is 70%, rather than giving up the $70 of the 100, what you do is you reinvest it in investments in this country, right? And then, and then you don't have to actually pay that. You can write off that amount that is invested. But under the current circumstances, all those monies are they're they're shipped off overseas because a that they don't have to they don't have to really reinvest that money what they're doing is they're they're parking it in fake accounts in the Cayman Islands tax loopholes right they're using tax loopholes to avoid paying the tax at all so not only do they not reinvest it they keep the money and they shop better deals abroad for cheap labor right for example so I mean, th- th- those are the the ongoing problems. It's not like Trump doesn't know what it is. Trump claimed that he knew exactly what it was. It didn't. He didn't deliver. So, so Bernie Sanders rising. Um, you know. Oh yeah, I know. He's. A, oh yeah, he's Russia. Russia Gate. He's a Russian guy. Oh, he turned his back on his people. I don't know. Like I said, Bernie Sanders is uh, the way I see it. Oh, let's look at the poll. Right. So how's he polling? How's Bernie Sanders doing in the polls? Uh, let's check this shit out. Man. So, I think I put I put this up a while ago, but Bernie Sanders in the polls is is clearly the is cl- not that one. <laughs> Oops, windmills give you cancer, you idiot. <laughs> Where's the, that was a mistake. Sorry, that really was a mistake. That's not what I wanted to put up. Oh, here it is. So, Emerson poll. Emerson, Emerson, Lake, and Poll. 29% of the uh, Democratic vote. In a, in a head-to-head, he already, he's already beating uh, Trump. I think Biden beats Trump, too. But I, I don't believe the statistic on Biden because he has no, he has no supporters. Let's see, him, let's see what happens when he declares and he goes out in front of real people. And, and watch how, how creepy Joe gets creepier and creepier as the days go by. Right? So Bernie Sanders is blowing the competition out, blowing them out by 20%, right? everybody else. All the names in the race, Pete Betterbig, he's running because he's the first gay, right? Beto O'Rourke, he's just a, just a shit sandwich. Camilla Harris, even Elizabeth Warren can't get 70%. Yang, 3%. Cory Booker. Joe Biden should be right around here. Joe Biden's a one percenter. And if all goes well and Sanders gets in, we want... We want to elevate Tulsi Gabbard at a minimum to Secretary of State, and probably Elizabeth Warren will be his VP pick. I mean, it would be a good pick under under his uh, under his guidance. So, 
kudos, Bernie Sanders, rising. Uh, no message of, yeah, I mean, you could say that that was a hit piece on Trump that he didn't provide for, for Ohio, but there's truth in that hit piece. What did he do? Where, where, when did he, he stopped talking about those sorts of jobs. He keeps saying that, uh, you know, it's, it's the Mexicans taking your job, build the wall. And I, I know people, I'm sympathetic to the people in Texas and Arizona and parts of California and New Mexico that, that, that have a flood of immigrants. And I, I feel your pain, you know, but if we can enforce those laws to, to prevent uh, people, you know, illegal aliens from working in this country, rather than letting them work for the $5 an hour and $3 an hour or whatever, we could enforce the law, the employers enforce the law, maybe we could, we can work to not have that competition. But again, that isn't the real problem. The, the real problem is the problem that I just described to you, which is the taxation policies and the way that companies uh, fail to fail to trickle it down in, in the uh, in terms of tax law and, and other things too. Marcus Conti reporting on this uh, rainy day in New York. While you're here, kindly become a Patreon. This is how we support this channel. Is uh, there's no other way. These uh, videos have long been demonetized for speaking truth. And uh, without your support, it's really just, you know, I'm sitting here eating my, uh, <laughs> eating my peanut butter for lunch, you know. So it's, uh, it's a rough road, and uh, I hope you would um, consider contributing. And also, no doubt, uh, absolutely no doubt, kindly subscribe to the channel. Marcus Conti reporting.